Hi and welcome to yet another episode of Willis Garage. In the last episode you saw me unpack the Optlasers X-T8 laser head and you saw me talk a little bit about the project I'm going to do. Before I can start rebuilding the laser I need to get off the old laser and check out how I might uh, attach the new one. Yeah, there is a bit of play in this one. I need to try to fix that. I'm going to try to adjust the bottom regroove wheel that has an eccentric nut in the middle. I think I made it a bit better. I have to find some holes that I can use. Yeah, and it looks like I can use these holes. Um, Okay, so I figured out I really need this plate higher. Okay, now that I have gotten this mounting plate in the back here, it sits flush with the old plate. Everything works. I can use the four holes up here to attach this magnet back plate. This is where the laser is going to be attached. Now this quick connect should work. Yeah, I mounted the plate on the laser machine. I'm going to mount the quick connect magnetic mount to the laser using these holes. Goes inside the top here and down in the plug inside the laser here. So I'm just unbolting this set axis end stop. Yes, I found this bracket I uh, can mount here and just use the wheel as a connection point on the end stop. Now that the end stops have been taken care of, I have to figure out where I want to put this uh, adapter control box. This is a very nice piece by the way, it's uh, aluminium with a control knob here and an on off switch which is controlled by a key. And here we have some diodes for power, armed and laser. In the kit from Op Lasers, I also got this bag, which is the universal signal cable. Different kind of cables that you can use to connect to whatever device you want to connect to. The placement of this box, I was thinking about putting it on the side of the machine here, but look at the beauty of this box. I need to be able to look at it, so I really want to have it in the front. So I think the best bet for me is to put it somewhere here. This way I can route the cables either on top in front of the machine here or I can also route it on in the back and take it through a new hole in front. Okay, now that the control box is up, uh, the next thing to check out is this cable. This is the cable that's going from the laser itself to the control box. If you take off the laser from the quick mount, you can see the plug is on top here. I'm going to route it all the way down this cable chain, out this hole on the side here, and then to the control box. The cable that came with the kit from Otter has six pins. So I reckon this is going to be plugged inside here. If you see on the universal single cable, this has an eight pin plug, which is going on this side of the connector. But firstly, I'm going to route this cable. Tight squeeze in here, but... And of course, when I'm calculating the length inside here, I want it to go all the way on the cable chain, on the x-axis, up here. And I want it also to be able to extend all the way to the right here, while it's plugged in, of course. So first, I'm going to plug it in. These plugs only have one way to plug in. Plug in the cable and plug in the black again, like so. I'm just going to extend it all the way to the right, sort of pretending to have a cable chain, and I just attach it here with a zip tie. Yeah, and then I'm just zip tying it on the side of the cable chain. Now 
not completely sure how I'm going to route the cable yet. As you can see, there is a lot of cable. The most important thing now is to get it to work. I'm just checking if all the cables works. No problem. No problem. Okay, now I have to figure out how I'm going to connect it to the old uh, control uh, card from Ortor. If we go into optlasers.com and we go to get a laser kit for your machine, down here you can get the information and you also see the different kind of lasers you can get. I go into the XT8 page. Here you can choose uh, what kind of uh, mount or what kind of machine you have. You can also choose your signal cables uh, and things like that. Down here you have all the manufacturers, Auteur, Steppercraft, and I just go to the Auteur CNC. Yeah, and if you go down here you can see all the manuals you need. Yeah, and you can get all the accessories you need. Basically, all the information you need about everything. And here you have your cutting and engraving speeds. I will open the Auteur LM connection diagram. I just have to check if everything is connected like uh, this diagram says. From the 6 pin output here to the input on the laser dock. I'll go over and check if that is okay. And you also see this side which is the 8 pin connector. As you can see I only need two wires from the laser master 2. You can see the plug here on this uh, wiring diagram. Is the plug I have now, when I look at the pin uh, from the laser on the machine here, it only has, has four plugs. Yellow and black. On the wiring diagram, on opt lasers, you see it is a six pin connector, while the one on my machine only a four pin connector. Anyhow, I'm just going to use two of them. PVH, TTL input and the ground. Yeah. And as you can see on the picture, it's yellow and black, while the pin I have here is only yellow, green, white, and brown. I'm going to assume that the green is the ground and that the yellow is the uh, TTL input. Okay, just to be sure about that theory, I need to check if the green is the ground. I have a multimeter here and it's going to beep if there are connection between the two probes. First I'm checking the yellow wire and as you can see the yellow wire has no beep. That gives me a high probability that it is the signal cable or the PVM cable. Now I'm going to measure the green one which I hope is the ground. Yeah, now I'm measuring the green one and it's going to ground. And the yellow one again by looking at the measurements here you can see I have connected it but it's not connection to ground. That gives me high probability that the yellow wire is the yellow one on the connection diagram and the green wire is the ground wire which is black on the connection diagram. At least that is what I'm going to try. I'm going to use these plugs now and just put them in this existing plug on the Orter Laser Master Pro. Putting the yellow and the green like so. Then I'm following the wiring diagram, which says that the yellow one is going to go on the second screw here. And the green one, which is the ground, is on the fourth screw. This should be all I need to get the laser to work here with the Auteur Laser Master 2. Here we have the power supply brick. It also has to be plugged in on top here. This is just a piece of wood for testing. And of course... As always when uh, playing with lasers, put on your goggles. And these goggles from Opt Lasers is cool as hell. I also have to plug in the 24 volt cable for the Auteur, plugging in the USB for the computer. Now I'm ready to power up the machine. Yeah, it homed itself. Perfect. Everything looks to be wired up. I'm just going to clean up a bit the wiring. And now for one of the most important things. This is rebranded. <laughs> yeah, up lasers. I'm also going to take a safety sticker on the side here. Yeah, like so.
Oh yeah, one more thing. You see these brackets I put on the sides here. These are just brackets so that the lid won't close all the way. I won't hit the laser with the lid. That was it for this episode of Willis Garage. Now that the machine is built, all the mechanics works, it's time for me to test out the laser itself, but I want to do that in the next episode. If you want to watch the next episode, please like and subscribe. And also if you put on notifications, you will get a notice when I publish the next video in this series. Yeah, so it's been fun. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.